Well, hello there, guys. This is Mike from Mike's Models On, and I do have a Revell kit here to show you. Um, I got this the other day, and this is quite a big kit. It's a 172nd scale submarine Stranria, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a very, very nice um, World War II flying boat, as it looks like. Very, very nice. Um, the size differentials are 23.1 centimetres, I'm sure that's the width, and the 37.2, that's the wing size. Um, it gives you indications of what paint shaft to use. I use the uh, Revell enamels, as usual. And it shows you what it could look like when it's done. And if I switch it over to the back, we have a lot of kits here. I've built that one. And of course it's over there. As you can see, you might be able to see it. Over there, over there. I've got it anyway. Um, these colours here, I don't really get those. I mean, my mate Gary gets those, which are the acrylics. I don't go for those. I go for the enamels here, which are in the metal pots. So, um, I've done that one, which is the Halifax. And the Halifax is just there, as you can see near the light. So, as you can see, I've done that one. Um, the plane I want the most is there, and it is the Grizzly, and it's absolutely massive, it's huge, one seventy second scale, it's the one I'm after, I've been after it for quite a long time now. Um, let's open the box and have a look what we have, Revel has to give us, what for you, I should say. Now, my mates have told me that this kit is the old Matchbox kit. Uh, apparently Revel of well Matchbox sold the mould to uh, Revel. So let's have a look at what we have to deal with. I'll just have to open the bag so bear with me. Okay. Right, so this comes in quite four big sprues and it's got a lot, a lot of stuff to do. So we have the fuselage here at the bottom, which is very nice. There's no signs of flash on this that I can see, but if there is, it'll be easy taken care of. We've got engine cowlings, uh, we've got the bits that you put on the bottom as the float, the float things, whatever you're going to call it. It's really, really nice. I'm really impressed with uh, this kit. So, it was a really nice pickup as well. Um, we also have the wing parts here that you must put on. My mate Gary Smith has this one, uh, the strand here, and he's got the Matchbox version, the Lucky Bugger. <laughs> um, but it's it, it's fairly it's fairly the same if you ask me because if uh, the Revell give I mean Matchbox give the modes to Revell obviously they'll be the same so but I don't have the Matchbox box like he does so obviously he's got one over on me there <laughs> so but uh, I don't mind that uh, so as I can see from my point of view on this, it's very, very nice. It's clean, it's crisp. So I've got no issues with that. So we'll get to the wings now. The wings are lovely. As you can see, they've got these nice little dint marks in them. Which I like, I like that very much. And it's got some nice detail on the rotary engines there, you can see. So... It's very, 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 very nice. I can't wait to actually build this. But I'm not going to be building it yet because I'm still busy with my Catalina at the moment, which has proved to be a bitch. And I've had lots of painting issues. So, so we've got the other part here, which is other parts that you put on and stuff. I'm very, very pleased with it. 
I can't wait to build it up. So as you can see there, it comes in four parts, four big sprues. And then we have the clear plastic parts here, which are the windows and everything. And the decals are really nice on this. So they're the decals that came with it. Huge. Really, really nice. Nicely laid out as well. So put them over there. And then the booklet, however, the booklet comes as standard. With Elle, I always put my picture there. And they always give you information about it and everything. Step by step instructions, as you can see, it all, all goes together. It's just brilliant how they made it all out. As you can see, I've got a lot of work to do, but I don't mind that. And obviously, you know me, I don't go with basic standards, so I am going to go with this one. Obviously, camo, because I love anything to do with camo. And it's more of a challenge to me, so I'll be doing it in the camo version. So that was my review of the uh, the Stranraria, or whatever you want to call it. I say that because it's such a weird name to call a plane, but yeah. So that's what you get with it. So thank you for watching this awesome review, and if you've got any comments. As usual, just post me up, hit me up, whatever you want to do, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thank you for watching this review, and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye now.